Welcome to Electro Nights. Today we present before you an exciting tutorial on flutter loading animations. Let's have a quick look on the animation that we will build today using Rive Online Editor. Head on to editor.rive.com and make a free account. Let's begin. Open Rive Editor on any web browser and create new file. Double click on the file name to rename it. Press O or choose ellipse from shapes. To draw circle press and hold shift. Align circle to center if not aligned. Duplicate the circle and rename then to loader and shadow. Import tick mark as SVG file. Tick mark is imported to different composition. Select the composition and copy shape. Next paste it to our composition. Delete the shape and the composition of imported tick mark. Select Loader and Shadow and press Ctrl plus G to group them. Let's make loading animation for light mode. We doesn't need tick mark here, so change its opacity and fill opacity to zero. Choose Shadow and Loader layer, change its fill color opacity to zero. Let's add stroke to Loader and Shadow. Change stroke width to 12. Make sure the player is in beginning and open stroke settings. Change end value to 60. This will determine the loader length. Make end offset to 100. Changing offset will rotate the loader. But nothing happened because start offset is also changed to 100. Change it, but it stops with one rotation. To rotate infinitely, change one shot to loop. Let's animate the shadow. Lower shadow opacity. Repeat the process. Press key at zero offset, so that it doesn't change like what happened before. Change to design mode and slightly shift shadow layer to right bottom. Move back to animate mode, now it's rotating. Let's make animation for dark mode. Duplicate the animation. Place the playhead in beginning and change the stroke color. Next place the playhead in middle, choose different color. Then move playhead to end, press drop down arrow of loader. Select the color key in beginning, copy and paste it to end. Change the shadow color. Now let's make tick mark animation. Change animation duration to 1 minute 20 seconds. Move playhead to 1 minute and increase loader size to 100, do the same for shadow. Go to beginning, select the group and press keyframe of scale. Move to 1 second and decrease scale to 50. Provide fill to loader and shadow as shown. Let's delete shadow stroke. Open shadow then stroke, copy the beginning keyframe, and paste it near 1 minute. Change the color at 1 minute to transparent, increase the scale of loader after 1 minute, and scale of shadow at 1 minute 20 seconds. Change the animation from loop to one shot. 
increase tick mark visibility at the specific point shown, choose the color code from flutter.ev for tick mark fill. Decrease the beginning scale of tick mark to zero. Press keyframe for scale at one minute, since the scale should not change until one minute. Increase the scale of tick mark at specific point shown. It's very important to have a transparent background. So move to Design tab, click anywhere outside the composition and change opacity to zero, duplicate previous layer to create dark animation. Copy color codes from previous dark animation. Change shadow color to black. Open shadow stroke, change remaining colors to black. Change white color in loader fill. Open tick mark fill, change to white. Our dark loading animation is not realistic let's change it. Changing keyframe to cubic will create a real world like loader. Do the same for shadow keyframes. Download right file. Make a folder named Assets in Root folder. Drag and drop animation we downloaded from Rive. I have already added the file. Add Rive dependency and Assets folder to PubSpec. Define artboard and animation controller, also the path to Rive folder. Since it's a demonstration app it will not be able to change theme on runtime, however you can change the value dark theme to true, and restart the app, to see dark mode animations. Load animation file using root bundle. We should assign the animation to animation controller, since we have to use the animation controller to remove the animation. When check button is pressed we need to change animation. First we remove the loading animation, then assign new animation. Finally our animation is ready. Thank you for listening to us. Have a great day.